peace and blessings and welcome back to Bodybuilding for Brass Players. I am Dr. Umvikeli G. Scott Jones or G, Dr. G, whatever you want to call me within reason. And uh, what I want to do on this video, so first off, this is the second instructional video. So I've so far uh, I've posted up an introduction to the channel, a uh, preliminary video, instructional video on how to establish a good embouchure. And in this one, I want to share with you some uh, warm-up techniques or specifically one warm-up technique. So this video is for the more experienced player who knows how to play a couple scales. You don't have to be super experienced, but as long as, honestly, you really don't need that much experience, but as long as you have a couple good scales down under your belt, this will be helpful for you. Um, otherwise, if it's your first, you know, few months of playing, this might be a bit overwhelming, actually. Uh, this is also for a professional who's looking for a new way to warm up and get their embouchure ready for playing. It's for the uh, the college student, anybody. Uh, like I said, all you have to know is how to play a couple scales. So, pardon me. What I want to do is uh, talk about, basically what I do is a melodic warm-up. Okay? Um, recap real quick. Something I said in my last video was I was talking about being mindful of what's going on in the body, specifically here when you're playing. Um, when you're breathing and things, really, I'm not really focusing on so much of what I'm doing when I'm breathing, as long as I'm prepping for what you know for that next thing that's gonna that I'm gonna play. You might ignore what I just said, but my point is, I'm not trying to spend a whole lot of time on the breathing process. I'm trying to focus on what's happening here. Do I feel warmed up yet? Am I playing in tune yet? Um, you know, am I ready to move on to my to my next thing, to my next actual technique or the repertoire I'm working on? So. This warm-up, like I said, is just a, a melodic warm-up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tonality, a scale. Um, just keep it real simple. I'll just take a B-flat major scale. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the notes from that scale, and I'm going to gradually improvise a melody that helps me to warm up. So I'll start off slow, maybe, and then gradually do some more interesting things, do some different intervals, maybe some octaves. We'll see how I go. But this is totally improvised. So, totally improvised. <laughs> so anyway... Um, and even with that, even with that, I'm focusing on, is my sound that I want in my mind? Is my sound concept, is the sound coming out of here matching my sound concept? So, real quick, I know I, I was going to play there, but I'm going to say this. Um, sound concept or tones concept or whatever. Have an idea of what you want to sound like before you play, unless you've never played before. Once you've been playing for a while and you know what the trombone should sound like, make sure that the very first note you play, the first note you play should match your sound concept. Okay, and if it doesn't, then get there. Get that sound to where you want it to be so you can sing through the horn very early on. You know, even in your warm-up, no, I'm sorry, in your warm-up, every note deserves or 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 um every note should be a statement should say something even your first note of the day should say something that there's no there's no uh when you're working out there's no even when you're warming up working out every rep counts <laughs> because those warm-up reps guess what they do they help prepare your body okay for for the act of the heavy lift or whatever or the, or the you know the long set when you're here the warm-up notes every single note counts and it sets you up for your whole day. So that all being said, I, uh, I'm going to try this again. All right. Thank you. 
haven't noticed it, is I start off with a small tessitura, or a small range of notes, just the first octave. Then I'm quickly getting into interval work with thirds and, and seventh chords and extensions, and then I'm also exploring the range of the instrument. This is a warm-up. These are the first notes I've played all day. I'm already getting into gradually stretching out and getting up to those high notes and then coming back down to a foundation. I'm starting into my uh, my trigger range, okay? For those of you trombone players out there, or you four valve people out there, uh, getting into that trigger range, okay? So I'm gonna keep going. Also, I've gone through each note of the scale. So I'm going through my major modes. So there's a lot happening in this video. Now I'm also exploring my major modes and with those, some uh, triad work. So I'm gonna keep going. I left off on G, I'm gonna go to A now. <laughs> about um, playing with a good tone. Like I said a few minutes ago, you know, before starting that thing, or in the middle of playing it, whatever. Um, have a sound here, you know. Uh, when I pick up this trombone, I'll say this, when I pick up my bass trombone, I know that I want to sound like an operat operatic baritone singer. You know, that's what I want to sound like. You know, um, I'm not going to get into singing right now. But well, my point is, you know, when you think of tuba mirum, tuba mirum spot, etc., etc. I'm not trying to get into singing because it's not a singing video. But I want that sound when I pick up my bass. When I pick up a tenor, I don't have necessarily a specific uh, visual like that, but I know exactly what I want my sound to be. And it's a very, it's a broad, farm, yet at the same time, lovely, colorful sound. Okay? So when I'm picking this up, I want to make sure that from the first note that I have that sound. Now, if you don't know what that sound is, guess what? You can still do the same thing, but it's a little different. You might just pick it up and play the same note over and over again to find that sound. That you're going for. Make it count. I want to play lyrically beautifully. I want, you know, a friend of mine um, said one time to me, he said, you know, one thing about your sound, Scott, is that it's very honest. That when you, you know, when I play as a certain, just there it is, honest sound. And I'm not sure what that, I mean, it's kind of a weird word, honest sound, but, but it made sense to me, you know. And so when I pick it up, I want it to be just beautiful. Uh, and I want to engage people. I want people to get deep into the sound with me. And I spent a lot of time developing the sound that I want to have. So so with that warm-up, you know, I want the first note to just get into that sound or get there as soon as possible. And then I want to gradually get things going and then really just go through the horn. You know, honest to God truth, you show up at a gig. I'm going to try to wrap this up here. If you show up at a gig and you got five minutes to warm up, you don't have time for a 15, 20 minute going through this book and all these different exercises you have memorized. You got five minutes and you got to set your stuff up and get your mutes out, your stand up and everything else like that. Doing something like you just heard will get you there, period. It'll get you playing in tune. It'll get you to know what, you know, it'll get you set up, ready to play and ready to improvise. Because as you noticed, as I said, that was completely improvised. And I went through all of my major modes in the process. So if I'm playing bebop, I'm ready to go as long as I'm in B flat major. 
Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope this was helpful. Uh, once again, just talking about a melodic warm-up. This is what I do to warm up most of the time. I have studied Remington warm-ups. Uh, I studied those for years, and they're great. Some of what I do comes out of that. But this technique, I, I just, it's what I do all the time. So if you want something new, a different approach to warming up, a different technique to teach your students, or if you're the student, whatever, um, hopefully this is helpful. Please leave me a comment, leave me a question, comment, concern, anything, and uh, like this uh, video, please, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace.